What's up, peeps? It's been a while since I've uh, made a video, but today I wanted to see what's new with a Autodesk sketchbook. Looks like they made some changes. Wanted to go over a couple of them and then try them out. Uh, this has changed. So these brushes were actually these older legacy brushes at one point and now they've got a whole new set which I'm going to mess around with a vintage marker, flow airbrush, primary pencil, technical pen, fountain pen, coarse watercolor, tattoo inker, oh that's cool, smudge pen, cashmere eraser, texture eraser, charcoal, ooh charcoal chalk, synthetic acrylic, synthetic oil, and color builder. Looks like they even have a section for Copic markers, so that's cool. Synthetic paint, traditional, fine art, and then patterns and textures to help bring out more. Ooh, even glow, that's cool. Something I might want to try. Artist brushes, pastel, yeah, the list goes on. There's so much more to play with. Uh, the settings button here, I guess, gives you the size and density and slant, which is a good thing. Let's look at the color wheel. The color wheel is different. Um, it used to have a preset like grays for me, and now it's just uh, this small group here, which is easier, I think, than previously. It was a smaller, smaller grid and harder to use layers so you can make layers and backgrounds you can remove the, the UI and pull, pull it back up um, this is different so looks like there's a last brush a transparent color color picker last color and a flip canvas these are great tools so I think I'm gonna get started and do some doodles Yeah, so uh, it's going to take a while before I get used to this, but yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. Alright, till next time. Art on, man. Art on. <laughs> 